What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you guys follow Keith One Time Thurman. I'm on his Facebook, which is verified. It's Keith One Time Thurman. You better not duck me, Thun. So make sure you guys check him out. He has a cool cover photo. This is a real cool shot of his last fight with Sean Porter, hair flying everywhere. Sean Porter bracing himself for the impact. Now, he posted something that I want to talk about. And he says, if you are participating at 147 and you aren't talking about Keith Thurman, you ain't no champion. Hashtag one time. And it's obviously a picture of him and Danny Garcia. In the link is an article where he's talking about he's wanted to fight Danny Garcia ever since he knew Danny Garcia was coming up from the 140 pound division. So I made a video about this the other day. It's a fight I want to see. And I got to say, UFC fourth quarter is kicking boxing's ass right now. There's a lot of fights like Julian J. Rock Williams versus the Charlo brother. TMT's Gervonta Davis versus Jason Sosa. There's a lot of fights like that that are just kind of in limbo. You had Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko. They had a lot of issues and drama. That fight's back on for late October. But I think some people kind of lost interest. There was a leg injury, so it was supposed to already have happened. Then Klitschko, he threatened to sue Tyson Fury. And Pacquiao's not even going to be on HBO anymore. It's like the only thing we're really, truly looking forward to is Ward Kovalev. So hopefully we get some more big matches on the books. Also, you have Danny Garcia, who's rumored to be coming back to fight John Molina Jr. I haven't heard anything official as of right now. It looks like it is that guy. Like, that's the match. But... I mean, I don't know what's taking so long. Another thing I have a problem with is youthful fighters. I, I keep saying this in videos and it just it's ever so clear to me. It's like a lot of these young fighters, they want to be the money Mayweather, but they don't want to go through the pretty boy Floyd era, the pretty boy Floyd stages. Like, I think these guys are far too young to be fighting one time a year. Like Mayweather did do that at one point in his career where he would just fight Miguel Cotto. And that's the only fight he had on the, the books for 2012 or whatever year. Right. But that's after he had been who he was, you know what I'm saying? And done a lot of things. I really see no reason for the Keith Thurman's, the, the Danny Garcia's, Errol Spence, the young guys, Sean Porter, for them to fight so infrequently per year. Danny Garcia fought Robert Guerrero. It was a pretty, it's somewhat competitive, but Garcia clearly won the fight. And he didn't take much punishment or anything like that. And we haven't seen Garcia back. And that was in January. I think it was like maybe even early January. It might have been late January, but still it was January. We're in September. We're midway through September. You know what I mean? Keith Thurman just fought in, I want to say, I don't know, with the car accident. I don't know what month, June. I think that's when they rescheduled. And he said he's not coming back this year. He's taking it easy. So, you know what I mean? I just want to see these fights. These are good fights. So, hopefully we get some fights in the book. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Obviously, everyone's salivating for Danny Garcia versus any of the top-level guys. Errol Spence Jr., Sean Porter, Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence Jr., Porter rematch. Let's get it cracking, man. We need to see who's the best of the best out of this new crop of fighters. And I just don't... I'm not really liking the inactivity with some of the... The top welterweights the division is far too popping like you look at heavyweight another popping division anthony joshua he's been fighting frequently i think he's going on his third fight this year he's young he should be doing that he's diesel in shape he's not taking too much punishment so eddie hearn's doing a great job of keeping him active deontay wilder probably would have came back this year but he sustained a hand injury but you got these other guys who aren't really injured there's really nothing suffered in their last fight like in, in terms of like crazy traumatic like you know what i mean like a hematoba or something like alfredo angulo when he fought lada or hasim rockman and it's taken forever to see them back in the ring i'm just not understanding it so i want to see it man who would win keith thurman danny garcia drop that in the comment section do you want to see john molina versus danny garcia also let me know do you think that'll be a fun fight do you think it'll be a one-sided fight what are your thoughts on that fight i just want to see it Berto said or actually the other way around, Porter said he's open to fighting Birdo, and Luis Colazzo's calling out Birdo for a rematch. So let's see if one of those guys can get a Birdo fight in the welterweight division since Birdo is no longer linked to fight Danny Garcia next. Drop it in the comment section. Let me know what you think of Keith Thurman's comments, him possibly facing a Danny Garcia. 
Again, who would you favor to win? Share the video, like the video as always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.